let me show you the importance of money yeah <laughs> why money is necessary in this house tell me why i'm from the hustle then i'm like oh my goodness that tool is driving me crazy this is just too much for me i don't know if i'm the only one oh guys that's the main reason why i'm here is because i just wanted to share with you if you love comedy and you don't have anything to watch i would recommend friends that comedy <laughs> it's late it's late i'll be watching friends while clearing this mess out maybe call it tonight because eh, wow. hustling hustling is oh my god because oh my god and I cannot believe you can be working for all that hour and that is what you're being paid. Not a, not in a complaining manner, manini. I'm grateful in appear. I know it's that is just business, especially a growing business and all that. But who oh, you making money is not easy. But well, do we have an option? We don't have an option. We must make money, yeah. Many money loves us, so we must make it. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm so sorry I've not been consistent with YouTube, guys. Adulthood, as you can see, is kicking my ass, and not in a good way. It's kicking my ass, not in a good way. But I feel I'm hopeful. I see the future looks bright. Be to not feel too. Yes, adulthood is adulting, but you're just like, God is about to make a way in a big way, you know? Yeah. Besides, there's nothing else you can do other than just remain hopeful. I'm an I'm not my friends. Eh? That's what up. So, whatever it is you're struggling with, keep the fight because, eh, you've come from far. To give up here and right now. Now is the wrong time to give up. Keep pushing. You're doing a great job. Now, Pia, if you have any opportunities that you think that my voice would matter in it, don't hesitate to reach out. Don't hesitate. I'm ready for collabs, guys. Eh? I'm ready. Sit up and Reach out, reach out. Total modeling gigs, speaking engagements when it comes to. You want to know a perspective of a woman living positively with HIV from Kenya. You can just reach out. I know my voice matters in whatever capacity. Now, each and every one of you just know your voice matters. So keep keep being you. Keep living your purpose. Even though at times it might not make sense to some people, but to you. If you know the end goal, sasakazini, focus, just focus. I've been struggling, but I've been doing my best. Teach and every day, I'm just doing my best. So, Kali, yeah? Kwa when you wanna penda mungu na kuomba, put me in your prayers, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Adios. See you. you all hope mko salama hope kila mtu wako poa so i wanted to plug you guys into good affordable pocket friendly sanitary towels but i don't to check some pocket friendly because i'm so sure there are some people who are not able to afford this and my heart goes out to them yeah. this is for the girlies who experience heavy menstruation i will recommend you use always as in kwanza he always excel apart number extra long for heavy flow excel it has come to because i've been in my menstruation for the past three days it's the real god this is the real god nani kabai is is it day four and five yeah something thin and stuff here yeah. so something light okay adios see you later then me talk a job it's 9 25 P.M.
oh my god guys today is rest day so at work i get my rest day on mondays so guys yani this work has taught me a lot a lot a lot a lot of things things like come at it first you get to understand different kind of people yeah and their way of thinking because i remember like when they started working this job i was told that on sundays i can get to work at 11 a.m that is after church after the first service nini, nini. so in my mind i was like okay so the employer automatically assumes that you go to church on sunday you are you are a christian i'm a what if you are a muslim as in what if you are an sda maybe i would have prefer maybe mm, you know but i'm also learning because me i want to have business in future that is something that i want business i want to venture in business yeah so there are some things i'm just learning along the way of which i'm very grateful so I was like, instead of telling someone they can enter at work at 11 a.m. At a, that is after church service, you can just tell them if it's Sunday, you can tell them. On Sunday, we just open at 11 a.m. But not at a, it's like I'm um, dictating whatever it is that you you must do. I don't know if you get me yeah even though suggestion i can report but uzuri in the adulthood uh, see masters and you take everything that you're told and stuff yeah so that was one thing that really amazed me but where guys where maybe i love church i have a relationship with god i will a hundred and one percent recommend mm. going to church and stuff the other thing is that yani when you're in working in this job there is no way you will have another life other than the life that you have. As in, your life will be revolve around waking up, going to work, coming back. Waking up, going to work. Because if you are, you ma, if you should, if you are supposed to be at work by 8 a.m., then work ends at 8 p.m. Tell me, when will you get the time to water? Check up on people. I know it's not an excuse, but I'm just like, what? In this work, you have to tell maybe your social life goodbye. Or so. I don't know. I don't know. There are people who can balance it. But maybe I can squeeze in that. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Let me read you my agenda list. But I'm so sure maybe one or two other ones will be accomplished. But let's see what how it does. I want to rest. Yeah that means i want to take then to take naps in between doing things i also want to do a general cleaning in this house i want to also wash my clothes and also want to see if today it's possible to go and see my nephew and niece i'm not sure let's see let's see how the day goes but so far so is in 11 26 a.m let's see how the day goes what see i'm acing adulthood <laughs> i've decided to take a quick nap then at around 2 p.m i'll wake up and <sighs> do the cleaning my clothes and the house uh, but i'm not sure whether i'll go to see my nephew and niece maybe maybe not let's see I know with this economy, it's so easy to get into debt, but guys, oh my God, the kind of harassment one gets when the Avnini sought those loan apps. I know it's not their fault. They're doing business and stuff, but hey, that harassment, guys, right now I'm just working on building a better relationship with finances. That means I've also been working on just no i think i've just been saying i've been trying my best because you can't compare my financial decisions right now and back then i've been trying my my best not to get into debt but upper here and there you just get i don't know i'm just adult to this 
guys let me not tell you i'm just i'm disappointed but at the same time i'm just giving myself grace because hey right now i'm like ah loan apps are boring me they're not giving me peace i just want i don't want this to be the life that i live i want to be so free i want to be free 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 and financial freedom is one of my goals this year i just want to do my best and be financially literate because oh my goodness guys uh don't take loans don't take loans from loan apps they will threaten you uh, as in because right now maybe i'm able to pay a bit of my loan so i'm just asking this particular loan app can i pay like this installment before i get the next one in it they're like you you know you already know as in we'll do what we'll have to do you can't pay in bits me i understand them but i'm like oh my god <sighs> i'm tired i am tired god i am tired god Diani, sasa just i'm doing my best my best is not i feel as though my best is not good enough i just oh my god this is not the life i want guys don't get into debt just work on your finances if you want the real freedom is when you yani when you get your finances right that is where the real freedom comes because for a person like me me i feel like i'm just i'm just at peace i experience joy and stuff but to my finances are the one part that any i'm just like oh no I need to do something. I need to do something ASAP. Otherwise, I will run mad. I will run mad. <sighs>much work is needed in looking for a job looking for a job is a job on its own guys guys i'm so tired of adapting my cv to match the requirements of different jobs guys yani i need to start earning a salary for applying for jobs and the worst part about it is going for interviews thank god uh, covid enabled virtual interviews to be a thing but going for interviews and being told no oh my god that has also been another thing that has really affected my self-esteem my ego but we soldier on we soldier on guys oh my god i can't wait to just have yani a source of income that is not determined by anyone i want to be an entrepreneur i was just thinking why do i want to be an entrepreneur one I want to also continue with my mom's legacy. My mom was an entrepreneur. And I, I feel I'm not... Yes, I love the security that, the, that having a job brings. But guys, I am tired. I'm tired, one, of dealing with employer's attitude. Two, of dealing with employer's rules. Yani, and me, one thing about me, I believe I was born to be a free bird. That is one thing I know. I was born to fly freely. So this looking for jobs has been, uh, oh my God, it has been stressing me so much. Yani, I don't think I, I like it. I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. Then, to add on it, everyone is just sending you things to apply as in other thing you know to zileza yani surely yani i know it's not their fault they want the best for me but to zingine uko to zileza surely yani only so my job description uko that eh uyu uyu anaka kufanya job and nini no nini pesa ni pesa it doesn't matter how one gets it but we it's a bittersweet moment. So zingine uko zile za oh my god even ndio huyu mtu ananiona but anyway we just give them grace everyone I think they want the best for for me and stuff here but guys it's not easy it's not easy it's not easy 
anyway talk to you soon it's interesting guys this is the first end month that i am actually working i am on a job and i'm not excited about nini my pay and stuff because Paying your kaime shayot, I'm just like, no, this is not the life that I want. Yani, this is not. Leo, I didn't look on a struggle, kupumu, and kifkiri. I'm like, no, this is not. I don't want to just be surviving. Mimi, I was born to thrive. I was born to enjoy life. Even when I survive, I need to do something. ASAP, God, remove me from your soldiers. I'm tired. So, that's basically how I began the month. Otherwise, hope Saidiako Moziko Poa Mimi. I am surviving and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Free juice for my client. What a wonderful time to be alive. <laughs> this has legit made my day. And also, the client was extremely funny. Okay, let me go grease my lips. Talk later. Yes, living positively with HIV. needs to go nasi mimi kigai ni mbangu imegeuka egypt animals ashindwe yeah she is no tunde nje tunde nje brother imagine kuna mbaba anajua Saizi ni najitayarisha kwenda kumuona as in guys I hate the way yani nowadays men are just the bare minimum they do the most yani the barest of barest cuz so sijui kama imekuwa season ya watu kunikatia ama cuz kuna season maybe new feel sikatiwi so, I, I don't know but I feel this season it has been too too hey, it has been too much it has been suffocating one of the sijuka ni beauty amanini of working in a male clothing store is i ran across 
lots and lots and lots and lots of men so eh guys Baba Mungine Apple uh he so he came he passed by the shop mm, was it last week then I get in in terms of when you look at Ali bagay nile ya nili kwa na filtu yani anani anani bo anani bo and you know the customer is always right alafu I just have to yani entertain whatever it is he was do, saying nini as in nili kwa tu zile za oh my goodness this man it's time for him to wrap his things and go, eh? And you know, Kenya, and you know, I end it. I na mimi, eh? Yeah. As in, ilini botu. So today, uh, at around 10, 11, Nikona Simu inalia, and I call. Ati, hi. Mm, Nime piti apo kwa shop. Nikona uyuko, nini, nini. So, Simu, come on, bear, oh. Ile de yenyo lini unandeli kwa the last day of you nini me working there as you nini nini. So in my mind I'm like what was the reason why did I have to lie to him eh? Singe sama tu lo si kwa job nini nini ya. So si sasa kanembea mm, I want to see you today. I want to see you today. Nataka kukuona. So me I'm just like eh. Kutaka is one thing. Kuniona, kuniona on the other hand, it's another thing, eh? Hey, so, ni kamambia unatika kuniona leo, leo. Ati sangapi? Mm. Ntapta futa 5, 6 p.m. Eh? Okay, so that's a dinner date. Ni kamambia, so, ni dinner date. Ni dinner, lunch date, ama coffee date. Akaniambia, eh? And you know it has a happy ending to it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes sense why men are the ones with the balls. Cause oh my god, the audacity! I could beat around the bush. Eh? In short, he just wants to have sex with me. Cause after you tell me you're not coming to me, me to me, we don't know each other like that. Ah uh ah, -uh, no. So 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 see, come on, I don't think it will be possible. Nini? Cause ma, me not coming eh? The entitlement with with this man, eh? Nkotunaska, ayanibo, kwanza nowadays, I feel people who don't appreciate my presence don't deserve it, as in they don't deserve, I don't, yani, kama, you don't appreciate me, yani, it's unfair to me, for me to allow myself to be around you, ama nini nini, yeah. So, see, nini, a few minutes ago, too, Na mimi ndio nataka kosha nyumba yangu. Amenikola kanimbia. Mm, Sasa unaweza kuja. So in my mind I'm like naweza kuja. Ati ah wewe jitayarisha ukuje. Eh, Nijitayarisha nikuje. Okay. Guys, see. I am ready. I am ready to clean my house. I'm ready to clean my house. I don't want to Yes, I'm open to love and all that, but I don't want to entertain such energy, such vibes. I know that I am sure he's not my kind of person. Kwanza today, I'm happy. I've washed my carpet for the first time since I met her. Ajawa Yoshua. But Leo, because one thing about me, I realized... I enjoy and love a clean environment so and I want to think so what better way clean my house so that yeah it is what it is but hope mkopoa okay adios love you see you later in 2019 mentorship award becoming the best version of me for coaching and mentoring a girl in need using the effective methods learned while being mentored herself, Joshua Nocheng Odiambo. I understand the importance of mentorship. So when you see me doing whatever it is that I do, just know mentorship is has a special place in my heart. Eh? 
I understand its importance, the significant role that it has played in my life throughout the year, yani with different people. Shout out to one girl Kwanza eh, for educating me throughout my university. Yep. And each and every incredible person that have been fortunate enough to interact with and have come out of the process, mentored, inspired. Shout out to each and every one of you, eh? all my mentors, anyone who inspires me. Yeah, shout out to you. And Sasa Jupia Mimi. I understand the importance. I'll also pass it down. Pass, not that I pass it down, pass it on. Eh? Anyone I meet, the idea is to inspire them. Yeah. Non impactful interactions, not in my life. Okay, guys, watch a new shenyu, but these are some major activities. Eh? Today we are doing a deep clean, deep cleaning. Okay, so, so. Adios, guys. Adios. Love ya. This is the only proof that I have that the million out eh? specifically Nairobi Street Kitchen. Can you can you see? Let's just say was <laughs> or something, but parting nowadays it's not the way it used to to be in any Nikiwa uni like four years ago. Says yes, I can still party, but you in Nigeria four years ago. Hey, it's not there. It's not there. I prefer being somewhere where to to na chill na. Yes, kuna kopati, but it's equal as if you you too much. Yeah. Anyway, acha ni chekwanga mingi ni mejibamba. That's the most important. Then I've also hung out with a very handsome man. Guys, I'm happy. Okay, talk to you later. Nimeam kan kitamani maziwa mala, ugali na sasa juu lazima pia fruits. I'm having a banana. Hey, good morning, guys. Morning, morning, morning. Nimeam kaje mimi nimeam kasalama, but I've not slept enough because I've only slept for like two or three hours. So now the plan is to relax and rest. I feel ashamed saying that. I feel I don't know why I'm ashamed by the way. That is the plan. Okay guys, adios. Just wanted to show you my breakfast. Hi everyone. Hi. I'm headed to my sister's place. She's invited me for dinner. I love having a baby. Lunch box meaning takeaway. So excited about that. Okay. <laughs> My sister is a liar. I came out thinking that nime kuja kukula food ya free. Kumbe mimi ndo nikuwa na kuja kukika. One thing about elder siblings, they don't respect me, younger siblings. Not at all. Guys, let's normalize not telling people our plans. Yani, let's normalize when someone asks you, what's your plan? Just tell them you don't have a plan. Let people think you're not serious. Because one thing I've realized when it comes to going after your dreams and all that, at the beginning of it, it's usually extremely lonely. Now I understand why. Because, you know, you don't want to put, to keep people around, people who are, who don't, believe in your dreams napiata it's not about don't believe they utter they don't look as if they are making an effort to understand what it is that your dream is and all that Nasasa, since you don't because there's a lot of shame i've realized there's a lot of shame unnecessary shame attached to, to people who choose i'm a people who decide that this is my dream. This is my dream and I want to go after it. Especially if that dream does not make sense to the people around you. 
I've realized it's so, 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 so easy to not go after your dreams if the people around you are they say some negative ni 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 so ata i remember yani guys mimi yes i know life is hard life is not easy but i'm usually like let the suffering be worth it i won't be somewhere at just because that life is easy and people start from nowhere and deep down I don't have a peace of mind in appear as in you know there are some things you can entertain and stuff but mikonza happiness happiness is is a key thing to me and me i think some of the things that give me happiness is things like utter to mutual respect nini nini vituka is because one thing about me, I don't know how I don't, yani I don't appreciate being in the presence of people who don't appreciate me because life is too short. Life is too short. Yani, no, no, no. If we are not appreciating each other, if we are not respecting each other, if we are not, watch a trick eye, no matter what, yeah. Because me, I'm a firm believer, you can secure a bag and still. Nini, have fun while it. it's still as much you to take it to a tequila kit to as much to take it to a second. I you respect the journey. I could a second in it's just not worth it. That is one thing. Mimi Kwanza, my peace of mind is one thing that I feel extremely uncomfortable compromising on. Peace, peace. I've worked for peace for yani nimetoka mbali sana vitu unnecessary hey, if it costs my peace it's too expensive for me yo cuz one thing about me if i don't i'm not at peace in my within myself loki i'm not able to function as in i'm not able to thrive the way i want to yani peace peace is extremely important anyway guys it's Sunday today. <laughs> I just wanted to rant for a moment. I yeah, know I wanted to tell you guys. Eh? Don't tell people your plans. If you don't want to get annoyed, especially if you're those people who depend on validation from others to go after their dreams and stuff, that support, yes, it means a lot. But if it's not there, the least you can do is support yourself. So, ndio usiko discouraged. Don't share with people your goals, especially people who clearly, yes, they in your circle, but they have a different dream for you, and you you have another dream. Na sasa idunia the important thing ni you make you you as in sasa kama mimi my main responsibility is to make me happy. So once. I stop being happy, guys. Mimi I'm usually like ra ta 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 ta. Life is too short. Life is too short. So anyway, it's around 12 17 p.m. It's noon time. Mm, my house is clean. I've gone to church. I'm from church. I've had a delicious breakfast. Now I want to watch something, then sleep yeah that's the plan i want to relax today is a rest day then i'll wake up later and prepare my not at a prepare polish on my session for tomorrow so tomorrow see guys i told you hmm? size i have a car side hustle eh? beauty in my shame after four years finally in a jeeper yeah so I'm happy. I'm excited for that session tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be fire. That I know for a fact. Okay, guys. Love you. Thank you for your support. Keep pushing. Keep going after that crazy dream. Eh? Tutembe tu pamoja. Tutembe pamoja. Mdogo mdogo. Tafika. Bado mapambano. We are not giving up right now. Tumetoka too far to come and give up here. Yeah. Okay, guys. Love you.
tell me it's golden hour without telling me it's golden hour that's an oh my god among the many million reasons why i'm forever grateful for this house sunday sunday hope you've had a lovely sunday mimi sunday angu imekuwa poa imekuwa shwari so i'm just relaxing getting some sun sunshine it's golden hour nijioni it's around uh, 6 or 8 pm wishing each and every person a wonderful wonderful beautiful week full of open doors that will lead us to financial freedom okay hey guys so this is the side that has good lighting but i'm feeling good so i'm just coming back from my walk yeah and i feel good but after a long time my body is stiff you know i've not worked out for almost like 45 days so you can only imagine but i feel good in as much as i mean lemon nasikia poa sa easy okay i've come to realize in life it's so easy to create unhealthy habits but creating healthy habits oh my god it takes time so i've been telling myself i'm back on taking exercise seriously na struggle <laughs> guys na joni me potea mimi nimekuwa mwana mpotevu but i don't know nowadays i've not been feeling motivated when it comes to youtube i don't know its cause i feel youtube has disappointed me loki for the longest time in terms of utter i feel as though yes i'm growing but i'm not growing at the pace that i would love to grow so i'm like nini nishida so there's a lot of factors that are to be considered but anyway i used to enjoy creating two utter two content for youtube so this is me showing up. This is me doing my best. But, uh, guys, I have a lot of... I feel I have, like, enough content that I need to post. I don't know why I'm, I'm not Nini standing on business. Eh? No. No, for so some your cheesy jokes. This, this is not the way. I need to get back to standing on business. I need to wake up. Eh? I feel as though sizing the nanza feel so maybe it's me who is self-sabotaging. Eh? Maybe mimi ndio na self-sabotage nikijambia siju nini I'm just giving excuses for no reason cause so easy. I've had to sit down and just remind myself in the first place why did I start this? Maybe the two G take am kutana. So I'm back, I'm back, guys. Poleni, poleni, kwa kupotea. Nime rudi, ndo yu mime. Yeah, nime rudi. I've had a day. But today my day, uh, actually not today my day. As in I feel today and yesterday. I've come to realize there's still a lot of shame and stigma attached to living with HIV. Because today's errands involve me going on behalf of someone else to take their nini their airbase and all that because i don't know it's a long story i don't want to get into it mimi niko poa niko poa i'll figure it out i'll figure it out we'll figure it out guys together pole pole too but what we are not going to do is stop we are not going to stop Sindio. Sawa. Let me see if I'll spend tomorrow, the whole of tomorrow, editing a YouTube blog. I don't know. A YouTube video. I'll try my best. Yeah. 
but staki wiki she come japata vlog ama next week yeah one of the above next week yeah thank you so much for being here thank you for supporting me all through the three years the journey has been one interesting journey let's just say that i've grown i've learned it has been all about getting out of my comfort zone but i feel but guys i'm back so thank you so much for your support i appreciate each and every person who religiously supports me thank you so much love you see you in the next vlog and don't forget to leave a comment if you've enjoyed the vlog like share yeah your support is highly and will be highly appreciated okay guys adios